A Nigeria must invest in Africa creative youth as the most populous nation in Africa in order to boost its economy. But these were the views of a dance and fitness instructor who also doubles as the CEO of Cafe Creative Agency, Cafe Shafar, while speaking with journalists on the sidelines of a one-week-long African creative market event held in Lagos. Plus, the Africa correspondent, Love Ikuko Oyedoko, tells us more in this report. <laughs> Okay, that's, um, it's, a stage where it's been one week of knowledge impartation on these young and upcoming entertainers in the creative industry. The annual event provided a unique opportunity for a diverse range of creatives and vibrant key players from within and outside Nigeria to collaborate. Kafayat Shafau, aka Kafi, is a dancer, choreographer, instructor, and fitness coach. She holds strongly that Nigeria has one of the most talented, passionate, and creative people in Africa who need attention. Our country is um, the biggest, you know, most populous nation in Africa, and also has the highest number of the youth population. Most of these youth population are veered into creative industry more than any other industry, but there's a gap. And what I am doing with the Cafe Bus Academy is to close that gap between making it and where the information for making it lies. So a lot of people, you know, believe that they can, but they are like, there's no mentorship platform. There is no training platform. There's limited amount of this platform. The only one we have is the academic institutions, really. And the academic institutions are overwhelmed. She calls on the youth not to give up on themselves, rather follow the principles and processes, believing that they can make it in life. Nobody just blows from, the, from thin air. You blow by following principles, processes, and having particular um, ethics to your trade. Just because you are a tailor doesn't mean that you shouldn't defend it with some business acumen. You know, you need to understand how to propose your business, how to communicate your brand. So a lot of this know-how, it's a, an information gap for young people. And who is going to do that? Very limited resources. Taiwo Ajayi licensed, Yinka Davis, Iyaba Ojo, Wale Roba are among the personalities who gave a boost to the day's session. While Davis calls for partnership with the federal government, Ajayi Lassent would rather want the creatives to be used to hold the government accountable. The best the government can do is just partner, is to partner with those who are the you know, those who have the know-how, the skills in the creative market. With the caliber of material that we use, with the way subliminally we can influence people about their world to be more, I, I was going to use the word aggressive, but to be more particip participatory in the polity of this country. We're just onlookers at what's happening to us. It is the job of entertainment to, to politicize our people. The creative economy has the potential to be the highest contributor to the country's gross domestic product. Fact. Um, content, particularly, is going to be the new oil in the next um, couple of years. And for a country that is the youngest, um, with a median age of 18, on the youngest continent in the world, um, Nigeria is best placed to take advantage of this evolution towards um, African arts and culture. Advice to any upcoming dancer is be true to yourself, believe in your ability, don't try and copy or follow the crowd, stay within what you know, train, 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 always try to look for new ways to be the better version of you. The event revolves around a dynamic panel of discussion focusing on pivotal subjects currently shaping the creative industry with a particular emphasis on the dance scene. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.